What's up guys, welcome back to the shop. So uh, today, we're gonna open box review this kit, Tamiya Porsche 911 Turbo 88. <laughs> uh, I'm excited, I've never built a Tamiya kit, I've never opened a fresh Tamiya kit. Um, I'm very excited to find out what this kit is like. Uh, I have not a lot of experience with foreign kits. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, you guys are probably are not surprised. Um, I'm currently working on an Aoshima. Um, I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek of it. This is a, a really cool kit. A little sneak peek. There it is. That's all you get. Um, but that kit is really, really nice. Um, and I'm anticipating but this kit is going to be even nicer. So um, I'm super excited to crack into this sucker. So um, I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to take a look at it. So give me a minute. All right, let's take a look at this sucker. Uh, like I said, I'm very excited for this. I got the bench cleaned off, do a proper unboxing, I hope, anyway. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's rip into this thing. So... Um, 124 scale Porsche 911 Turbo 1988 uh, very cool very very excited um, I noticed that this is a uh, this is cool it gives you the what you need for for um, paint colors on there which is which is really neat so I'm expecting this kit to be beautiful. Here's hoping it really is. <laughs> All right. Okay, so. Right away. I don't want to open this, but there's the clear. So there's the clear tree. You can see um, it's in a bag, but from what I can tell looking through there, the glass looks really, really nice. Uh, really crisp and clean. So I think that's going to be that's going to be really cool. And you got your uh, you got your tires. Let's let's uh let's open these up. I don't know why. You got two metal axles. Comes with two metal axles, which is cool. Um, you got your rear tires. Really nice. I mean, look at the tread on that. That is really cool. Those are nice tires. Those are pretty wide, so I'm going to assume that those are the rears. Your fronts are in a separate bag, which I don't understand why. Um, Maybe you guys out there that have more experience with the Tamiya kits can tell me why they would do that. Is there a special reason? I mean, who knows? But let's open them up. Maybe. I'm fumbling around with the fumbling around with the phone. Same quality. Matching tread too. Really nice tire. That is really cool. It says does have sidewall writing. Can I read it? Absolutely not. I'm too old to read that, but I'm sure it's a name brand tire. So that's cool. Tires look good. Uh, not much to this kit. Not much at all. So... You've got your you've got your wheels which look really cool and I don't, almost don't even think I'm gonna strip the chrome on those because those are those are really nice and with the color I got in mind I think chrome wheels are gonna look really cool give it a little bit of a custom touch maybe I like those 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 are really nice 
Um, and you've got your interior tub. That's really nice. Um, there's no flash on any of this stuff. I don't know if I expected there to be, but your exhaust, rear suspension, um, more exhaust pieces. So that's cool. The uh, only other tree has um, your bottom plate. So obviously this is a curbside. You've got a little, bit, oh, quite a bit of motor detail there that you can detail paint and make look really nice. Um, your dash, seats, more suspension, your wipers, your door handles, steering wheel, mirrors, shifters, all that kind of stuff. Again, really clean. This this pla this styrene almost has a different feel to it, which is really neat. I've heard that before too, so but that's nice. Very nice. Let's look at the body. Now, as you can see, it's molded in silver. Um, and it's really crisp and clean. There's a little there's a blemish there in the door. Um, you've got some stuff there on the roof. I mean, if, I guess if you were a beginner and you wanted to just throw this together, you could. But it's got some mold lines that you'd have to fix. There's mold lines there and there. Um, and some blemishes in the plastic, of course. But overall, that is really nice. Very, very cool. I'm excited about that. I've got, I've got just the color. It's a nice odd color that you don't see every day on a Porsche 911. Is what I'm going to do this in. I'm not going to tell you until I do it, but um, I think it's going to be pretty nice. So that's the body. Look at that thing. That is beautiful. And then you've got, uh, you've got decals. We won't open those right now, but they're just. License plates and gauge, gauges, and look like maybe the sides of the wings, some light covers, that kind of thing. Um, well, this is really neat. Uh, to me, it tech tips. That's cool. I like that. Shows you what kind of tools to use and methods. Rattle can painting methods, brush painting methods. So that's that's really neat. And the instructions. These instructions are very much like the Aoshima instructions that go with that Forerunner. Um, easy. I think it's going to be very easy to assemble just by looking at the instructions and, and the numbers. So. Very nice. Overall, a beautiful kit. Everything I thought it would be, for sure. Um, I cannot wait to get started on this. This is going to be so cool. Oh, it's nice, and it tells you where to mark off. Oh, there's those decals. Those go there. So it tells you where to mark off for trim and stuff. That's really neat. Very cool. I'm very happy with that. That is a very cool kit. So let me uh, let me turn the camera back around. I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts, and uh, I have a really cool announcement that I want to share with you guys. So again, I'll be right back. What's up, guys? All right. So uh, what do I think about that kit? I love it. Uh, what a great kit. Um, highly recommended. I'm, you know, when I'm, I'm doing this open box review on a kit that everybody knows is, is amazing. But for me, this is my first time and I, I, uh, it just makes me want to buy more to me a kits. It really does. Um, I recommend you get this. Uh, I recommend that you go see my guy, Mark over to Hobby Nut Models. He's the one that supplied me this kit, um, to review and, uh, I'm going to build it. I don't have a time frame on this one, <laughs> unfortunately. I got some other stuff going and some other stuff in the works, so this will get built. 
Um, I promise, and I will tell you what I th think of it as far as how it goes together, but I can already tell you, just looking at this thing, um, it looks amazing. And I'm sure it's going to go together like a dream. Uh, so, as always, um, go check out Hobby Nut Models. The uh, website is linked in the description of this video. Uh, now, my, 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 my news I want to share with you guys. So, I, uh, I have kind of struck up a partnership with a good friend of mine, uh, Dennis. He has a little website. Uh, it's called D's Tees. D-E-E-Z Tees. D's Tees. Um, and together with him, uh, we've designed a new logo for the channel and for the shop and for everything in general. And um, I am offering that logo on some merchandise uh, through his little website. Um, I will link it in the description of the video. Uh, go check it out, please. Um, he's a good friend of mine. Um, he's trying to get this thing going. He's got some other t-shirts on there, too. Uh, if you like tacos and you like Jeeps and you like the Blue Ox Model Shop, um, this might be a place for you to buy some apparel. Uh, t-shirts, coffee mugs, uh, water tumblers. Um, he can put the logo on anything. Hoodies, long sleeve shirts. It, it, the the possibilities are endless let's just say that um so please uh go check out that website get yourself some blue ox merch uh i've had a couple of people ask me for t-shirts so so here it is here it is guys um the link will be in the description of this video and all videos coming thereafter i guess i don't i don't know i'm kind of new at this so go check that out uh along with everything else uh if you want a shop card if you want to contact me for anything my email is also in the link of every video um in the description of every video I'm having a hard time talking it is what it is um so yeah i guess that's it go see mark get yourself a tamiya kit he's got a bunch of them doesn't have to be this porsche if you don't like porsches but man i love a porsche I love a Porsche. So uh, go check him out. Go check out D's Tees. Uh, pick yourself up a Blue Ox coffee mug or a Blue Ox t-shirt. Um, I guess that's I guess that's it for today. Uh, yeah, let me make sure. Blah, blah, blah. Yep, yeah, that's it for today. So uh, next video coming on, I got some progress to show you on the uh, Unified Scale Automotive Content Creators Group Build. 2022 um picked by mark batson it is the 70 roadrunner or gtx from ravello monogram and i've made some progress on mine and i have some stuff to show you that'll be coming this weekend all right guys i guess uh i guess this really is it thanks for watching thanks for subscribing if you haven't hit the subscription button hit it uh give me some thumbs up Go back and watch some of my old videos. I, I've been doing this almost a year, so I've got I got a few videos to watch. Um, some of the highlights, go watch that Heather versus Heather, the Dueling Heather's Jeep build. That's quality TV right there. Go check it out. Um, and I will talk to you guys again really soon. Thanks. Have a good one.